All right, let's do a live or attempt to do a live repair on a, I believe it's a laser and the model is is it's one five two three uh, aspire okay so let's have a look I just connected the charger power light Windows failed to start BCD error. Right. So let's go into BIOS, see what's going on. Toshiba hard drive looks like a one terabyte traditional. AMD CPU, 16 gig RAM. Secure boot enabled. Okay, so it's boot of a uh, UEFI. Let's play around with this. Let's uh, disable secure boot. Enable that and right F ten and let's start to reboot the system using the legacy mode and see what happens okay so it can't find the boot so the hard drive most likely is a UEFI GPT style boot. Let's go back to BIOS and restore the BIOS defaults, change it to UEFI. And F10 and do F12 to bring the boot menu. Maybe function F12 or F12. And I'm gonna boot off the Ubuntu live USB to determine if the hard drive is faulty. If not, we'll look at repairing the boot partition. So we're trying to determine where the, what the problem is. Is it the hard drive issue or file system issue? Physical or logical? one of those laptops doesn't have a LED indicator for the hard drive
Yeah, so we can see some kind of a hardware errors reported about the hard drive. I'll enable the external screen so you can see better. There's a problem with the HDMI capture card. Let's come back here. Okay. Try and show you like this. Okay. Let's launch the disks program. Wow, 12,800 bad sectors. This drive is dead. Mouse is not working. Hmm, we can at least mount the hard drive partition. Maybe we can see some of the files. So we can mount the file system which is great, but it has 12,800 bad sectors which is horrible. We need to replace the hard drive and I'll recommend the client for an SSD, see how they go. And based on that, I'll do the next part of the video. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one. Here we have a PS4 controller. Uh, simply does not get detected for pairing, neither does it charge. Uh, I'm going to do a full disassembly of this unit and check the USB connection, see what's going on, and see the voltage coming in, going out, etc. I won't have enough time to do the voiceover for the whole thing, so I'll just let the video run. Uh, Alright, so we're going to work on that Acer, which have the hard drive problem and I'll show you how to replace the hard drive in this and upgrade to SSD.
And when you have a computer with a hard drive and no operating system on it, it will automatically boot up the USB. So you don't really need to do anything to boot up the USB. So we just plugged in the USB. Power cable is double check, it's plugged in. Power, there's no light. Hmm. What's going on? Our light is on. Security boot failed. That's an interesting one. Let's fix that. So we're going to reboot. Delete F2. Delete an F2. Okay. What you want to do is... Hmm. Secure boot, we would like to disable that. Alright, what we're going to do, we've got F12 boot menu enabled. F12 boot menu enabled, so we're going to press F12 and reboot the computer. F12. Keep tapping F12 or function F12. And now we can see our USB. Hmm. It's interesting. Let's go back into BIOS. Now I don't want to boot in Legacy, I want to boot in UEFI. Okay, maybe this USB is not good. I'm going to get another one. Okay. It's another USB with UEFI. Reboot. F12 key. That's not even seen. What's going on, mate? What's going on? Maybe that's why I've got this job. They couldn't do a Windows 10 install at all or boot from a USB. I think this one is booting, so it could be something to do with the USB. This is the 1903 Windows 10 USB. The other one was the 2004 Windows 10 USB. Both are UEFI. Yep, we're good to go. Now we can install Windows 10. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.